Covering over 70% of Earth's surface, the ocean is home to a myriad of astonishing phenomena, bizarre creatures, and perplexing geological formations that defy explanation and challenge our understanding of this vast aquatic expanse. From the fascinating behaviors of the diverse marine life to the enigmatic structures hidden beneath its shimmering surface, the ocean beckons our curiosity and invites us to uncover its most extraordinary secrets. In this video, we'll be taking a deep dive into some of the most astonishing and mind-blowing facts about our vast oceans. As we dive into the captivating realm of the ocean, prepare to be astounded by its most remarkable and bewildering aspects, stoking our desire to learn more about the wonders that lie beneath the waves. Number 1, Sahara Desert was once a vast ocean. The Sahara Desert, a vast expanse of arid land stretching across northern Africa, is one of the most inhospitable environments on Earth. With its scorching temperatures and sparse vegetation, it may seem impossible that this desert was once a flourishing sea. However, geological evidence suggests that millions of years ago, the region that is now the Sahara Desert was indeed covered by a vast ocean. Around 100 million years ago, during the Cretaceous period, the African continent was split in two by a massive seaway known as the Tethys Sea. This ancient ocean spanned the length of what is now the Mediterranean, Black, and Caspian Seas, as well as the Sahara Desert. The Tethys Sea was home to a diverse array of marine life, including fish, mollusks, and ancient sea reptiles like mosasaurs and plesiosaurs. As the African and Eurasian tectonic plates collided over millions of years, the Tethys Sea gradually began to shrink and disappear. Eventually, the sea closed off entirely, leaving behind vast deposits of marine sediment that eventually formed the sand and rock that make up the Sahara Desert today. Number 2 the Great Blue Hole The Great Blue Hole, a natural wonder located off the coast of Belize, is a massive underwater sinkhole that has captivated scientists, divers, and explorers for decades. This remarkable geological formation lies near the center of Lighthouse Reef, a small atoll approximately 70 kilometers from the Belizean mainland. The hole is circular, measuring 318 meters across and 124 meters deep, with a surface area of 70,650 square meters. The Great Blue Hole was formed during several phases of the Quaternary Glaciation, a period of repeated glacial expansions and contractions. As sea levels were much lower during these periods, the site of the Great Blue Hole was once above water, and rainwater slowly carved out the underlying limestone bedrock, creating an intricate network of caves and caverns. Over time, as the glaciers melted and sea levels rose, the caverns flooded, and the roof of the cave system collapsed, resulting in the distinctive circular depression we see today. The striking contrast between the dark blue waters of the hole and the lighter hues of the surrounding shallows gives the Great Blue Hole its name. Today, the Great Blue Hole is a popular destination for divers and snorkelers, who come to explore its unique geology and the diverse marine life that inhabits its depths. This includes a variety of fish species, sharks, and even the elusive giant squid. Despite its popularity, the Great Blue Hole remains a mysterious and awe-inspiring testament to the power of nature and the ever-changing face of our planet. Number 3, Sea Sponges Are Older Than Dinosaurs Sea sponges, members of the phylum periphera, have a fascinating and ancient history that predates even the dinosaurs. As one of the most primitive multicellular organisms on Earth, sponges have been inhabiting the world's oceans for an astonishing 600 million years. 
This means they existed long before the first dinosaurs roamed the planet around 230 million years ago. The earliest known sea sponge fossils date back to the Precambrian era, a time when life on Earth was just beginning to evolve and diversify. These ancient sponges played a crucial role in the formation of the earliest coral reefs, which supported the development of diverse marine ecosystems. Throughout their extensive history, sea sponges have demonstrated remarkable resilience and adaptability, surviving multiple mass extinction events that wiped out countless other species. Their simple body plan and efficient filtration system, which allows them to extract nutrients from the water, have enabled them to persist and thrive in a wide range of aquatic environments. Today, more than 8,500 species of sea sponges can be found in marine habitats across the globe, from shallow coastal waters to the deep sea. Number 4, Mantis Shrimp has the most powerful punch in the animal kingdom. The Mantis Shrimp, a small yet formidable crustacean found in tropical and subtropical waters, has gained notoriety for possessing the most powerful punch in the animal kingdom. Despite its modest size, typically ranging from 3 to 10 centimeters in length, the mantis shrimp packs a tremendous amount of force into its club-like appendages. The speed and force of a mantis shrimp strike are truly astounding. Its clubs can accelerate faster than a bullet fired from a gun, reaching speeds of up to 23 meters per second. This rapid acceleration, combined with the unique structure of the club, enables the mantis shrimp to deliver an incredibly forceful blow. The impact can easily break through the shell of a snail or even knock the arm off a crab, showcasing the impressive strength of this small but mighty creature. The mantis shrimp's powerful punch is not only a result of its raw strength but also its unique biology. Its appendages are composed of a complex arrangement of layers and fibers that store elastic energy, similar to a stretched rubber band. When the mantis shrimp releases this stored energy, it amplifies the force of its strike, enabling it to take on much larger foes and even hunt octopus successfully. Number 5, both coral reefs and human bones are made of calcium carbonate. Coral reefs and human bones may seem entirely unrelated at first glance, but they share a common material in their composition, calcium carbonate. This remarkable compound plays a vital role in the formation, structure, and strength of both corals and human bones, highlighting a fascinating connection between marine ecosystems and human anatomy. Coral reefs are complex ecosystems built by tiny polyp-like animals known as coral polyps. These polyps extract calcium ions and carbonate ions from seawater and combine them to create calcium carbonate, which forms a hard, protective exoskeleton. Over time, the accumulation of these exoskeletons forms the foundation of coral reefs, providing habitat and shelter for thousands of marine species. In human anatomy, calcium carbonate is a critical component of bone composition. Bones consist of living cells, collagen fibers, and minerals, including calcium carbonate, which provide the necessary strength and rigidity for support and movement. Calcium carbonate plays a crucial role in maintaining bone density and overall bone health. Interestingly, both coral reefs and human bones are affected by environmental factors, such as changes in temperature, acidity, and pollution. For example, ocean acidification caused by climate change can disrupt the balance of calcium and carbonate ions in seawater, hindering coral growth and weakening existing coral structures. Similarly, Dietary calcium intake, exercise, and other lifestyle factors can influence the strength and density of human bones.
Number 6. Octopus don't have nine brains. Contrary to popular belief, however, octopuses possess a single brain and a highly distributed network of neurons throughout their bodies. The central brain of an octopus is located in its mantle, near the head, and is responsible for processing information from its surroundings, memory formation, and learning. It is considered the primary command center for the octopus's behavior and cognitive abilities. In addition to the central brain, octopuses have clusters of neurons, called ganglia, located in each of their eight arms. These ganglia function as many processing centers, allowing the octopus to efficiently manage sensory information and control movement in its arms. While these ganglia do provide some level of localized decision-making, they are not separate brains but rather extensions of the central nervous system. This distributed neural network grants octopuses remarkable motor control and coordination. Each arm can independently taste, touch, and sense the surrounding environment, allowing the octopus to maneuver through complex habitats, manipulate objects, and even solve puzzles. Despite having a single brain and a sophisticated network of ganglia, octopuses have proven to be highly intelligent creatures capable of solving complex tasks, using tools, and even engaging in play. Number 7. Boxer crabs use anemones as boxing gloves. The boxer crab, also known as the pom-pom crab or Livia edmonsoni, is a small crustacean with a fascinating and unique method of self-defense. This crab has developed a mutually beneficial relationship with sea anemones, which it uses as a form of protection and a tool for hunting. Boxer crabs have specialized keely, or claws, that are relatively unarmored and ineffective for traditional defense or feeding. Instead, they delicately grasp small sea anemones in their claws, holding them in place with several small spines. The sea anemones chosen by boxer crabs are typically venomous species, such as Triactus producta, making them an effective deterrent against potential predators. The relationship between boxer crabs and sea anemones is an example of mutualism, as both organisms benefit from their partnership. The sea anemones gain increased mobility and access to food scraps from the crab's meals, while the boxer crab enjoys the added protection provided by the anemone's stinging tentacles. The boxer crab's ingenious use of sea anemones as a form of protection demonstrates the remarkable adaptations that can evolve in the natural world. Number 8. Pygmy seahorses stay in the same place their entire lives. Pygmy seahorses, which belong to the genus Hippocampus, are fascinating creatures known for their exceptional camouflage abilities and unique life history traits. One remarkable aspect of their behavior is that they tend to stay in the same place throughout their entire lives, displaying an impressive level of sight fidelity. Pygmy seahorses form strong associations with specific types of Gorgonian corals, which serve as their primary habitat. Once a pygmy seahorse settles on a suitable coral, it will often remain there for the rest of its life. The seahorse's small size and remarkable ability to blend in with its surroundings make it extremely difficult to spot, even for experienced divers. This sedentary lifestyle has several implications for pygmy seahorses. It enables them to establish a stable territory and maintain a reliable source of food, primarily consisting of small crustaceans and zooplankton that drift by in the ocean currents. Additionally, the seahorse's close association with its host coral may provide protection from potential predators, as the intricate coral structure can make it difficult for larger animals to access the seahorse. Number 9. Jellyfish breathe through their skin. 
One of the most intriguing aspects of jellyfish anatomy is their ability to breathe through their skin, a process known as diffusion. Unlike many animals, jellyfish do not have specialized respiratory organs such as lungs or gills. Instead, they rely on the diffusion of oxygen and other essential molecules directly through their skin, which is only a few cell layers thick. Jellyfish have a simple body plan consisting of an epidermis, gastrodermis, and a layer of mesoglea sandwiched between the two. Oxygen is absorbed from the surrounding water through the epidermis, then diffuses into the mesoglea and eventually reaches the cells in the gastrodermis, where it is utilized for respiration. This process is facilitated by the large surface area of the jellyfish's body, which is often expanded into a bell-like shape or a thin flat disc. The extensive surface area allows for greater contact with the surrounding water, making oxygen uptake more efficient. In addition to oxygen, jellyfish also absorb and expel other molecules, such as carbon dioxide, ammonia, and various ions through their skin. This simple, yet effective method of respiration enables jellyfish to live in diverse habitats, from shallow coastal waters to the deep sea, where oxygen concentrations may be low. Number 10, we know more about the surfaces of Moon and Mars than we do about our own oceans. Despite the fact that oceans cover approximately 71% of Earth's surface, our knowledge of their depths remains surprisingly limited compared to our understanding of celestial bodies, such as the Moon and Mars. The vastness, inaccessibility, and harsh conditions of the deep sea have made exploration and research a significant challenge, leading to the popular saying, we know more about the surfaces of the Moon and Mars than we do about our own oceans. Our understanding of the Moon and Mars is largely a result of decades of dedicated research, space exploration, and technological advancements. High-resolution images, remote sensing data, and samples brought back by manned and unmanned missions have provided valuable insights into the geology, chemistry, and potential habitability of these celestial bodies. In contrast, exploring and studying Earth's oceans presents unique challenges that have hindered our progress in understanding their secrets. The deep ocean, defined as depths greater than 200 meters, remains largely unexplored and poorly understood due to factors such as immense pressure, lack of light, and extreme temperatures. According to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, only about 5% of the ocean has been explored and mapped in detail, leaving a vast majority of its depths unknown. Thanks for watching. See you later.